Hey guys, welcome back to Eddie the Thinker. My name is Aditya aka Eddie. Today we are going to talk about conformity. But first, All right. Conformity. Conformity is defined as the change in one's behavior due to the real or imagined influence of other people. So the question is why why do people conform why do they change their behavior well there are two reasons one if they are in an ambiguous situation they look around for cues i mean think about at the first time you ate sushi you're at the restaurant you don't know what to do you got your chopsticks and you're just staring at it do you bite it in half do you cut it or do you put the whole thing in your mouth so what do you do you look around you look at one person he's just talking too much another person just got in and then look someone over there who puts the whole thing in his mouth okay then you turn this side and then you see another person does the same he puts the whole thing in his mouth so then you figure out that oh the right thing to do is put the whole thing in my mouth this is called informational social influence informational social influence is when people look at others for guidance about how to behave in an ambiguous or confusing situation. I'll give you another example. Think about your first day at university in a foreign country. How do you address your, well, instructor? Do you call them sir, ma'am, or do you call them doctor last name, or do you call them professor? What do you do? You wait and then you see how other students address their instructor. And then you realize that people prefer calling them doctor last name. And that's what you do. I'll give you yet another example. Imagine you go to a wedding of a friend who is from a different country, different culture, different religion. What do you do? You observe. You look at how other people behave. How do people greet each other? And you do the same. Now, the second reason why people conform or change their behavior is because they want to be liked or accepted by the members of the group. This is called normative social influence. Normative social influence is going along with what other people do in order to be liked and accepted. Groups have certain expectations about how their members should behave. Ideally, good members conform to these rules. Members who don't conform are considered difficult, different, or deviant. In the social media era, there is no shortage of examples. Remember the ice bucket challenge? Everyone was on it. Those who weren't were probably ridiculed, punished, or even rejected by their group members. So to avoid all this, they conformed and uploaded a video of themselves. Human beings are social by nature. It is not surprising that we conform to gain acceptance from others. When it comes to conformity, we need to talk about private acceptance and public compliance. Private acceptance is when you conform to other people's behavior out of a genuine belief that what they are saying or doing is correct. Let's go back to the sushi restaurant example. Would you have conformed if the person you were observing was eating sushi with a fork, or perhaps with his fingers? This is an example of private acceptance. Public compliance is when you conform to other people's behavior publicly without necessarily believing in what the other people are saying or doing. What about uploading a video based on a recent social media trend? You may not like the reason why, but you still do it. This is an example of public compliance. Now, would we conform if we are certain of the correct way to behave or if the pressure is coming from a group we don't care about? We will explore that in the next episode. All right, folks, that's our episode for today. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'll see you soon in the next episode. Until then, take care.